that uh, that pertains to the uh, the rapture of the church. So in the dream, I was standing next to a man who I believe was Jesus, and he was explaining to me that there are two watch windows, one for those who will be taken out by the rapture, and the second watch window is for those who will be left here. And he was explaining that we are right now in that first watch window. And he even pointed me to a very specific time for the departure of the church. And I, I brought up that scripture about the day or the hour. You know how you always hear people saying, well, nobody knows the day or hour. And the man just kind of was like, that has been taken out of context, misunderstood. And uh, that, yes, we, we should know the timing. And I remember just... I, I thought about the uh, scripture in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and I believe that supports uh, that we really should know the timing of the rapture. Paul said in, in chapter 5, verse 2 of 1 uh, Thessalonians, For you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. No argument there. But in verse 4, he goes on to say this, But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness, so that this day should surprise you like a thief, okay? Paul makes a distinction between the world, the apostate church, and, and the body of Christ, the remnant church, okay? As the remnant church, as the body of Christ, you should know. This should not be taking you by surprise at all, all right? And I'm not going to say what he pointed to, but I will tell you this. Uh, if you are going to be going on a trip, on this date, I would be packing my bags now, very, very soon. So I will just tell you that. And the second thing he pointed out was that um, that second watch window where the people will be left here will be easier because they will actually have a point of reference, meaning the, the time of the rapture, which we know is the beginning of the tribulation. So for the second coming of Christ, uh, there is a, a point of reference for them to be watching. Okay. So I hope that makes sense to you, and uh, I also want to encourage you to uh, just continue to keep your eyes on Jesus. You know, it seems like so many people are being given dreams and visions and uh, just of, of the time of Jesus coming to get us, and you know, this isn't the first dream, you know, in the beginning of the year, I think it was in February, you know, the Lord was singing a song over me as I was kind of in that twilight state waking up, and I just remembered, the only thing I remembered from the song he was singing over me was I'm coming down to get you. I'm coming down to get you. Church, Jesus is coming down to get us soon. It's time to be ready. I hope that message encourages you. And as always, it is my prayer.